A man suspected in, of murder in West Virginia was found dead today in Washington County. Police have identified him, but so far they aren't saying who the murder victim is. Paul Martino has been following this story all day for us and joins us now live with the latest. Paul. Julie, there are new and breaking developments in this apparent murder-suicide that began in West Virginia and ended here in Washington County. 32-year-old Brian Calabrese is now accused of shooting and killing the boyfriend of his ex-girlfriend. What makes this story even stranger is that Brian Calabrese had moved on from that relationship and had married yet another woman. But tonight he's accused of killing his ex-girlfriend's boyfriend, then fleeing here to Washington County and shooting and killing himself. 32-year-old Brian Calabrese was on the run Thursday night, wanted for murder. Friday morning, the assistant fire chief in Amwell spotted a suspicious car. Stop and check it out. And uh, as I approached the vehicle, and I realized that the, uh, the gentleman in the car was deceased. Murder suspect Brian Calabrese had shot and killed himself in a parking lot in Lone Pine, Washington County. Police were searching for him following a shooting death in Tridelphia, West Virginia. But it remains a mystery as to who the murder victim is. Meanwhile, back in Lone Pine, Calabrese's suicide came too close for comfort. Way too close to home. It just made me nervous. I'm just thankful we weren't here. The Leach family, including two little girls, live right next to the lot where they found the body. Fortunately, they'd gone away for the night. Even so... It's scary. It's so close to home. You just never know nowadays. Mm -hmm. And that's scary with little ones. As for that assistant fire chief who found the body, he agrees. This was a dangerous scene for everyone. This day and age, you don't know what's going on. You know, am, am I in danger? Was, you know, any of our neighbors in danger as well? Yeah, and again, Brian Calabrese now accused of shooting and killing the boyfriend of his ex-girlfriend. The victim has not been identified, but that's the relationship. Oddly enough, Calabrese had moved on from that relationship and married another woman. Uh, but tonight, his life is over in an apparent murder-suicide that ended here in Washington County. Reporting live, Paul Martino, KDKA-TV News.